Hi everyone. So if you remember last week, I gave that prophetic word that uh, no longer will people walk all over you. It's the word that the Lord gave me. And also, if you remember last year, around about this time last year, I gave a prophetic word that um, the Lord said, tell my people I am coming with my goodness. Now, I believe that um, we're at that point where um, things are starting to happen but um but and i i think that that's why last week when i gave that prophetic word i did say to you guys that i'm gonna go back to the lord and ask god uh can he speak to me can he tell me a way that um to, a way that can help us so that we can see that word to surely come to pass in our lives you know um because what i don't want is to release a prophetic word and um and we miss it or i miss it even though i know it's from the lord you know and um and, and yes we know that the word of god goes forth and he accomplishes all that he sent it to do that is true the word the lord's word does not the word of the lord does not need he doesn't need our help it it doesn't need our help for after all it's by it is his word that created the whole um, universe and all the expanse and all the lights and all the everything that we can see is created uh, by his word you know um, and when he created all of this when he spoke the word he did not need you and I to come into agreement nevertheless there are times in as we can see in the scriptures and maybe we can see that in our lives as well that there are times when the word, the, the word of the Lord requires uh, you and I to participate, to to come into an agreement, and to to actively uh, participate for that word to be fulfilled. And I'll give you, um, sorry, I'll give you an example of that. An example is when the Lord said to the Israelites um, to go and take the land. Now that word was spoken, okay, and that word already carried power the, the word was spoken so the the word had the power to to ensure that the israelites take possession of that land however because majority of them did not agree with that word unfortunately it cost them extra years there was such um, years of delay because they did not agree with that word only two people um, were found to agree with that word to to be in agreement with that word you know and um, the rest of them had uh, a negative report so we can see that there are times when the word of the lord actually requires you and i to to participate you know to uh, to to be in obedience and to to actively do something and even when you look at the new testament um the gospels you will see many instances of the lord where the lord is is um in he's he's making sure that he's within um fulfilling the the spoke the, the word of the lord that was uh, prophesied you know there are times when the lord will specifically do something because he knows that in doing this that word will be fulfilled and there are times when he will stay away from doing something because he will say it's not it's not the time yet so he's just not going to do it you know so i'm saying all of that to say that um the story of gideon which i shared last week was the example the Lord gave me. And this week, I just want to, or rather today, I just want to share another part of um, the story of Gideon. Um, the last time I shared how Gideon was wanting God to confirm and confirm, confirmation, confirmation. In tonight's video, I want to look at um, uh, Judges chapter 7, and um, in Judges chapter 7, we see from verse 10, we see how the Lord himself recognizes that Gideon is afraid. And then the Lord says to Gideon, he says, um, I'll read it from verse 10. It says, um, but if you are afraid to go down, go down to the camp. I, in, 
meaning if you're afraid to go and and, and attack these people if you're afraid to go and uh, confront them basically he says um but if you're afraid to go down go down to the camp with pura your servant and you shall hear what they say and afterwards and afterward your hands shall be strengthened to go down against the camp so he went down with his with uh, pura his servant to the outpost of the armed men who were in the camp. So when he went to, he went down with his servant. He actually overheard um, one of the Amalekites and Midianites. He, he overheard one of them um, sharing a dream that they had, and um, and then he also heard the interpretation of that dream. And in in overhearing all of that, he was able to recognize that indeed. The Lord had made a way for them to to um, defeat the Midianites and the um, Amalekites, and um, and the reason why I'm sharing this today is because it's that whole thing about um, the Lord the Lord giving the giving the parable of the seed that was sown and some fell by the wayside and the birds came and ate them and some fell in good soil and some fell, you know they fell in different places and sometimes you find that the word that is given some sometimes we receive that word but within a few days it just fizzles away or we we leave that word and we we go in a different direction you know it's just the way life is you know and and the lord knows that that's the way it is because he gave a parable of it given the the story of the different types of um of seeds and how people uh sorry the different types of the different ways that we that we receive the seed that is sown you know um some fall on good soil and some fall on, fall, fall on the on the on a rocky on on a soil that is not good you know and uh, so, yeah, so basically the word I gave last week where I said that uh, I said that um, no longer will people walk all over you. Now, that word to me, how I see it is I see it that that means that some of us, you know, some 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 of you will have to it'll, it will mean a change of position for some of you. It would mean a change of uh, circumstances. And um, actually, for everybody, it means because when when you say no longer shall you be walked all over, it usually requires a change of circumstances. The circumstances will have to change, you know, um, the the environment or the surrounding or the way things are done will have to change, you know. And for some people, it might even mean a change of location as well. In Gideon's uh, instance. Um, if you if you went on to read the the story of Gideon, you will see that um, he was walked all over. He him and his people were walked all over by the Amalekites and the um, Midianites, and the way the situation changed for him required him to go into battle, to go into an attack. Yeah, and um, and by the way, just a quick disclaimer. I don't like that word. I, you know when when there's a when when a prophetic word is given and it says the Lord says you should you should go you know we're going into warfare or we're going into an attack I don't like that word I'm not saying it's not true and I'm not saying the Lord doesn't do that but it's one of those words that whenever I hear it I'm like oh no I, I don't want any fight I don't want any spiritual fight I just want easy life straightforward you know etc I'm that kind of person you know but there are times where the Lord calls us to stand up and make a stand, you know, and uh, and um, sp spiritual warfare or to declare something, etc., etc., you know. So, um, so I'm only saying that to let you know that I'm not saying that, oh, you, you know, we have to go and do this and do that. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I am saying is that in Gideon's example, it required him to do something in order for that word to be fulfilled is the point I'm trying to make, okay? Um, he had to do something for that word to come into, to, for that word to, 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 to do what the Lord sent it to do, right? So that means that you and I, that 
perhaps there is something we need to do if the word is spoken and you know it's a word from the lord but you haven't seen the benefits of that word yes it's encouraged you it's brought encouragement it's brought to you um yeah it's encouraged you it's, it's made you feel happier in your heart and and knowing that God loves you and et cetera, et cetera. But actually your circumstance hasn't changed. You know, the, 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 the power of that word, your neighbors cannot see the, the manifest power of the word of your heavenly father. You know, things are still the same. Well, that's not what, that's not what God wants. The Lord doesn't just want us to have a feel good feeling but the circumstance is still the same. The word of the Lord is supposed to go and do things. The word of the Lord is supposed to go and uproot things, break, uh, divide mountains into two, um, create rivers where there is no river, dry up oceans even if, if that needs to be done, um, cast out the, the word of the, of the Lord has power to do what he's been sent to do you know so if we're not there yet then the next question is lord what do i need to do for that word to come to pass and um and i know i spoke a little bit last week but today i'm just still on this because i i want to i want to know that i've i've um I've dealt with this as much as the, the grace of God will allow me to with with um, the people who watch my video, my subscribers, you know. I, I want to pour out all that the Lord is saying to me in my heart. And what the Lord is saying is the Lord is, is ready to do his word, you know. He's ready to do his word. And um, Gideon here, he said to Gideon, if you're afraid, then do this. In other words, the Lord recognizes that sometimes there are we can be afraid, you know. We know that the word is from him, but we're too frightened to do X, Y, Z, you know. And the Lord says to Gideon, if you're afraid, then do do this. Go go over here and listen to this. And and then Gideon did that and he built uh he was strengthened and then he went on to 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 um confront those um uh, Malachites and uh, uh, I don't know if you no, not confront. Confrontation is not the right word. He went on to deal with them, shall I say, you know. So um so yes, I want to encourage you um in in this. I want to encourage you in um in putting your weight on the presence of the Lord God to hear what the Lord is saying to do. As, as myself, as do I, so that's, that's what I'm supposed to be doing as well. And I know with all my heart that, um, that that's where we are. I know that with all my heart. I experienced it over the weekend. So I know that that's where we are, where the Lord, um, when we give him time and we give, we, we, we pay attention, he's he's ready to to help you and i you know he's he's ready to to do it and to answer our prayers and to make that word that i gave last week fulfilled you know now for some people that word will just go and it will establish all that it was sent to do without without anybody doing anything it will just go and do it you know it will just go and change circumstances because that word was released um and I yeah and I I just see somebody in a uh oh I see someone in a, a blue and yellow blue and yellow shirt and um it's almost like a multicolored as I, what I, what I'm getting is a rainbow color it's like it's a multicolored um t-shirt actually and I think you're wearing a baseball cap as well. And um, and the word I'm speaking now, actually, I believe the Lord is saying to you, that word is going to go forth and accomplish uh, accomplish all that is sent to do, you know, that um, no longer will people walk all over you. So the person I've just described is a, is a very good example of um, 
of that word just doing things for that person without them having to do anything but for some of us and i think i myself fall, fall into this category there are the lord requires us to come alongside and and do something you know and whatever it is who knows it could be the simplest of things who knows what it is you know so um so yeah you know and um and i think i'll leave the video here i'll i'll um, end the video now so be encouraged and um and um let your silence be, be before the lord you know um go before the lord and keep silent and um and offer it offer it to him as a pleasing sacrifice you know in his presence just offer him your time of silence so that you can hear him and receive from him and that person i've just described with a colorful shirt or the, the rainbow shirt um i can see your feet as well i can see you're wearing a uh, you're wearing brown leather shoes um so i think this is a guy this is a, a man actually i can see your feet you're wearing brown leather shoes um with with, with no socks so it's one of those um I don't know what you call those shoes, actually. Um, I don't know if they're like comfy shoes. I don't know. But anyway, they're brown and they're leather is what you're wearing. Okay. All right, everyone. So I'll see you guys in another video. And um, yeah, enjoy the evening. And uh, may the Lord be with you and be with your household. Bye.